Okay, hi everybody. It is Matt. It is currently three more minutes until my bestie's birthday. So this video I'm actually filming twice this week. Um, which I hardly like I've been doing. I did that last week, I'm doing it again this week. But the it's eleven fifty eight, it's almost Alex's birthday. Wait, what the fuck I hate this guy damn fucking phone. But it's almost her birthday, besties. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, I have a lot, a lot, a lot to go through. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give an overview for, like, everything else. That's not clothes, basically. So pretty much, like, my pillows, except, like, accessories and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, here we go. So it's going to be, like, a vlog style, just, like, sit-down video. We are going to get to the sit-down, like, part in a minute. So basically, we have this. Cute ass shorts you wear for rep room, and then I have my Fruji. Of course not. And I have all of my stickers, so this is like a quick overview. Okay, and then of course Alex and Taylor on the bottom, of course. And then I have my August lithograph right here, which the lighting is kind of making it, fucking it up. And then this guy, he gave this to me at Walmart like four years ago when Reputation came out, so that's that. And then I have his The King of My Heart poster of fucking course. I kind of want to put it on this side, but I have nowhere to put it. And then I have four 1989 lithographs, the big ones. And then I have all of my signed CDs right here. Yes, of course. Then I have my Soul in the Tarot lithograph for Mirrorball, of course, because Mirrorball means so much to me. You have no idea, but I'm waiting until midnight so I can post my Alex post, which actually I should get it ready now. So hold on. I should actually get it ready now. I'm going to sit with you guys. And then, um, yeah, because there's a minute left, so hold on. Second. Um, hold on. Fuck, where's this damn fucking picture? I have a, like, whole type down ready to go. Um, it's so fucking damn hot. Like, it's so fucking hot. Okay, I'm gonna stop this and then I'll restart eventually. Okay, so we are just going to get started. It is not my night. Happy birthday, Alex. I love you so much. It is not Friday the 13th. Okay, so we're just going to shut. Majority of my stuff is in color coordinates. Um, yes, I tried my hardest, but this is like miscellaneous stuff that I have still yet to hang up. So without further ado, we're just going to shut up and we're going to get into it. Okay, because I have to go through a lot because it's a lot. So I have my Ivy shirt. It's so fucking beautiful. I love this so much. Um, it has Ivy lyrics on it. It's so fucking beautiful. It's like an army green color. I love it. Like a, some of the rep merch was. Then I have my Cruel Summer shirt. Um, I've had this since 2019, I believe. Uh, I was going to say 2020, but maybe, actually, maybe it was June 2020, because I think I did this for my birthday, actually. So probably either 2019 or 2020. Um, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. Cruel Summer shirt. I think I got this, like, right before, like, right around the time Rep merch got released, like, re-released again. And then I have my Betty shirt. This, like, cream color. It's an extra large, I believe, or an extra, extra large. I really can't remember. It's an extra large, but I just tie it up, obviously, because it's looks fucking huge on me and I'm skinny so it doesn't look good but yes it's so fucking beautiful I love this like this reminds me of like my grandma's like old house like I love the like the vintagey like cottage core vibes to it um this is the ghostly scene shirt this shirt is uh <laughs> um with Taylor merch it's hard to find it's a 2xl but like I just I just tie it the, this is what about it's like a lounge shirt and then I have my pullover I actually sold this and then rebought it of course so I have this but it's really hot so I might switch I might change hold on besties one second Okay, I'm back and I did change clothes because it's fucking hot as well as up in here. Okay, so as you guys are going to know, I did sell and buy a lot of no new stuff. Some of it I even like sold and then bought back again from a different seller. So you might recognize some of it, but majority of it is going to be about brand new. Okay, so I got like my creams and whites. Now there was about seven or eight empty hangers. So I'm sure I'm missing some stuff, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so we're going to do this really, really, really fast. So I, have the, I never walk into the street again shirt. Beautiful. It's like the sand color. I love it so fucking much. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah. Um, and I have my snake hoodie, my iconic snake hoodie. I did this by Era's last video, but I'm doing that. So yeah, and then I have that. So beautiful. And then I have my Christmas tree from pullover. So fucking beautiful. I love this piece as well. So simple and like elegant, but so beautiful at the same time. Oh, and then I have my windbreaker. The picture me in the trees windbreaker. It's really fucking loud and obnoxious, but I like love this picture of her. And I love the outfit she's wearing. I want it so bad. But I wish there was something on the front, but whatever it is, what it is. Okay. And then I have, I wore this in the video. Um, I forgot what it's called though, but it's so beautiful. It's like this like cream and like tan. It's so pretty. Um, and then it says folk lot. It's like puffer. Like lettering, you know, it's not like embroidered or printed on. It's like puffered. It's so beautiful. 
And then just this on the back and like navy blue. So beautiful. And then on the clip side pullover, it's so beautiful. There's a stay in this though, but whatever. It's so beautiful and like simple and like elegant. Um, a lot now. Some of this is fan made too, obviously. So I have the Devils with the Dice Cruel Summer pullover. I um, usually have like Cruel Summer merch like by itself, but apparently not this time. <laughs> At least not with this. Oh, it's too hot for this shit, you guys. You don't even know. Um, then I have like the Logo Triclist pullover, like or long sleeve, like the waffle. Oh, this one so much. It's so pretty. Although I wish something was on the front. Oh my god, it's so hot. See another empty hanger. Go figure. And then I have the cancel plants hoodie. Watch the um strings fell out. Oh how we like have the wo woven label too. It's so iconic. And then I think this is called For the Hope of It All. Like, pullover crew neck. It's so beautiful. It's like marble. Like, rain, white marble. Goes with my hips up hands. And then, yeah. It is her name on the back, obviously. Simple, but elegant. And then, I have this one, as well. It's from Lover Era, sitting on the grass. <laughs> and then, one of my favorites. I actually thought this was like a hummingbird, but it's literally just like, floral. It's literally floral, but I thought it was like a hummingbird. It's so beautiful. I love this like one so much. It's so fucking pretty. One of my favorites for sure. And a lot of people I don't think have this, so it's like really meaningful. Um, this one is huge. I don't really wear it that much, but I love this like green on the back and like this like ivory cream color. I love this picture of her. I mean, it looks bad on here, but it looks way better in person. So yeah. <laughs> then it's like fucking huge in the back. And then we have the folklore anniversary merch, which I have pretty much everything I wanted from there, I believe, and like which is pretty much worthy of all the shirts and not all of them. And then you have folklore on like copper, gold, or like copper. And then her name on the back, copyright, because she owns it. And it came out in 2020, obviously. Rep, of course. Of course, we have this. The infamous. I don't think a lot of people like this, but I do. And then we have the most iconic, in my opinion. This is the one I haven't sold. I've had every other lover. I've had lover and I've had folklore. I've had it more, but I've sold them all. Reputation, um... I love this one. It's the most iconic. It's one that started it all. It is the official one because it was Champion brand, so it is the official one. Um, and I got this pretty cheap. I got it for like 113 actually, ironically. I've seen them go for like 250 plus, so I got lucky in that aspect. Another one is another one of my favorites, the Cowboy Like Me pullover. I love this one so much. So fucking much. Hands down one of my favorites. Um, hands down one of my fucking favorites, no doubt. Um, and then this one from my Taylor's version, obviously. I sold, I sold, I sold a lot of my stolen version merch. Reputation, I can't do that with, but pretty much every other era I've had stolen version merch from, I pretty much stole it all, unless it was a blanket. Uh -huh. Which, well, maybe we'll get to. And then this Maricana and the Heartbreak Prints. I didn't really wear this one, but it's so cute. And I wore it in a video, I think, a couple years ago when COVID first started. Then I have the Christmas Tree Farm shirt. So beautiful. I got this in 2020, I believe. Um, Yeah, it's so beautiful. I don't know, I got it last year. I got it, like, March of last year, I think. Yeah, March of last year. I'm loving him. It was red crew neck. It's so beautiful. Like, so fucking sad. More of the shirts of this when I went out downtown with my friends the other day. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Simple. Um, and then this is my Right Where You Left Me shirt. Um, it actually has my lyrics. My favorite lyrics in the whole song. Did you ever hear about the girl who got frozen? Time went on for everybody else. She won't know it. She sold 23 and said her fantasy how it was supposed to be. And it's like this girl just like dwelling in the- I wish there was a picture of Taylor. I've always said that before, but it's true. I do. Oh my god, it's too fucking hot for this shit. You guys don't even know. It's like 90 degrees in my room. Maybe even hotter. It's so hot. You guys don't even know. Well, speaking of, like, buying stuff and then reselling it. Do I have to move? Should I just move? Fuck was that? Maybe we should just move. Yeah, but we can just move. Hold on. We'll move. Let's go. So you guys can see it better, you know? Because if you can't really see it that well, yeah, it could be wrong. But, like, I feel like I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong. Um, so how did I do this last time? You guys were, like, so, like, balanced. Like, what is that? Do you guys hear that? What is this shit? Like, really, what is that? Oh, just my brother. Okay. So, I mean, do you guys even need to see my face or can I just show you guys? Well, here's all the stuff in the back. 
You guys don't really see. And then I vibed her. You guys know I have my Olivia and Cat pillows. My King of My Heart blanket. My Hermes pillow. Or my Hermes blanket. And then my Lover pillow. Then that's probably the most rare blanket that I own. Aside from the debut one. The h t one. The King of My Heart blanket is pretty rare too. But it's probably the third most rare. Um. So yeah. But the AT&T one. I have the tightrope one. Um. And then I have... My reputation backpack. I love this so much. It's my baby. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. You guys don't even know how much I love this. Of course it's dirty, but whatever. Shit gets dirty. But it's like gold night. You guys know I hate gold, but like it actually looks really good on here. Then I have my other folklore blanket down there. And then my tightrope blanket. From Mirable, obviously. Lover. Is this the end of all the endings from King of My Heart? Is this the all the endings from King of My Heart? And then my h and blanket and then my cardigan stocking. Love her poster, reputation poster, love a poster that I got from a magazine. Red tour from a special edition of Red. Which, by the way, okay, Swifties, there's my, there's Fiddler's Taser version. And then I have my August Hourglass. They should have made one for nothing new and Gold Rush <laughs> from Evermore. Um, and then I have my Christmas Tree Farm Snow Globe, my Mirror Ball. Obviously, because Mirror Ball, I love Mirror Ball, you guys don't even know. And then I have um, a reputation poster on the death of her reputation. She felt truly alive. And then I have my 99 pillow. Yeah, but I kind of have this like leaned up against here. Yeah, it was perfect, but whatever. I fucked it up. So then I have my Fearless Tales version vinyl, the gold one, obviously. Um, and then I have Soul and Otherwise vinyl, Macy Peters, of course, Betty's Garden vinyl, Evermore, the Red Target one, which I want the green one, the opaque one, but they're hard to find. Um, Running Like Water, Lover. Red hair version. This is the Target one, the red one. I don't want the black one. Kesha, of course, but that's not... Okay, I got all the tailors. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. We gotta fix this. We got to fix this. Like, guys, this is life a YouTuber. Oh! And, I forget exactly. I do have two folklore bandanas. They're so beautiful. I have a peach one, and then I have, like, a lavender periwinkle blue one. They're all so beautiful. I love them so much. Okay, so yeah, there's that. That's kind of like the accessories. Actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. That's actually really nice. So I'm going to stop this. Actually, no, I'm not even done yet. Okay. So, here we go with the rest. Well, the rest of, like, the cream slash, like, white stuff that, like, I have in my closet. And that's not dirty. Slash doesn't need to be washed. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to show you guys. Okay. Here we go. Here's the rest. So, I have this one as well. It's so beautiful. So fucking beautiful. God, I need to hang all this up. And then I have seven lyrics. Of course, this one's so beautiful, too. I don't really see these being so well. It was really, really soft at first, but since I washed it, it's, like, gotten less soft. And then I have, I got this one, Black Friday, Lover Crop Top. It's so beautiful. It's, like, the Lover Glitter. It's so fucking beautiful. I love this one so much. Really, really fucking cute. I wore that for the Lost Love Tears version, obviously. Actually. And then I have another one. It's, like, a Capital One exclusive I heard from back in the day from Lover, but I just bought it used. And I have an Emerald Cornier Street. Again, pullover. I love this one so much. I love Cornelia Street, obviously, so it's so beautiful. Of all, it's like half embroidered, but like half printed on, if that makes any sense. But it is. And this one's from like Valentine's Day Collection. It's so beautiful. I love this picture of her so much. It's so fucking beautiful. Yeah, so fucking beautiful. I love it. Why is the tag not showing? Oh, it's right there. You guys can see it, kind of. You guys even see it? Yeah, you guys can see it. So beautiful. Love it. This one it was the one I wore last time when I made this video. It's just the, um, and the trees pullover. Like the cream. Love this one so much. So beautiful. And I have the Reputation like album cover. Stolen version, obviously, because we haven't gotten to this version yet, obviously. And then I have for the Hope of It All shirt. I love this picture of her and I like love this like vintage vibe. It's so beautiful. Love this one so much. And then it has her name like on the side. It's so beautiful. I love this one so much. Like it's so, it doesn't, I don't think a lot of people own this either. It's so beautiful. This one she wore um, as a candid. Um, and then I bought it about a couple months ago. So it's so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Now one of my favorites, Betty Garden, Betty's Garden shirt. Obviously matches the Betty's Garden vinyl. It's so beautiful. I love this picture of her so much. Um, I love, like, love this picture. When I think of folklore, I think of this picture. Or the running like water one. And this one, I forgot what the shirt was called, but it's like so simple and like so beautiful. I just tie it up because again, it's huge on me. So yeah, I just tie it up. So beautiful, love it. And then I have a cowboy like me, long sleeve. Let's go with the crew neck. And then it says Forever Sweet is Con and the folklore and Evermore-esque font. So that pretty much concludes all of my white stuff. So now we're going to go into like reds and like maroons and stuff. And then yeah. Okay. So I'll be back. Okay. So now we are going to like, this is like purples and like maroons and stuff and like cat merch. Okay. So we're going to do all the like purples and stuff first. So I have like a bottle of wine long sleeve. I don't really wear this one. It's too big and like, I mean, it's beautiful and I love it still, but 
it's like hard to see the like trackless on the back, but it's so beautiful and I love it so much. Um, and then I had the Mad Woman shirt, of course. It's so beautiful. I love this like cranberry color. It's so beautiful, so simple, so elegant, so fucking beautiful. Um, and I have the In This Trees crop. I have two of these, I believe, actually. One to sell and then one to keep with the track list on the sleeves. So beautiful, another one of my favorites. And then her name on the back, obviously. And then Red Taylor's version pullover. It's so beautiful. I love this one as well, too. It's so fucking pretty. Um, so on the tightrope shirt, obviously Mirabel. I love Mirabel on like silver and like maroon, like done. It's old. Two of my favorite cars and my favorite songs, so. And then I have the My Terror's Ricochet pullover, another one of my favorites in folklore, obviously self-written fucking masterpiece. I love this one so fucking much. Love the song and the fucking pullover, it's so beautiful. And then I have Stars Around My Scars pullover and the maroon one. I had the blue one, but I like the maroon one better and I saw the blue one over, over a year ago. And I have For the Hope of It All shirt, I wore this, or Living For the Hope of It All shirt. I wore this in a couple of videos, I believe, or at least I know, or in, in one. Then I have Mosaic, Broken Hearts, and State of Grace, another underrated, maybe second best of opener, I don't know. I think Ready For It and the one are tied, rather than most, and then say to Grace. Would follow, and then I have another in the trees crop, and then I have pink swans crop. Um, the dirty, the back is dirty though. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but like it is. Tried getting out with Santa River, and it doesn't. It didn't come out, so I got upset. Then I have my cat merch, my Olivia and cat, Olivia and Meredith cat merch, obviously. So I have this, the purple unicorn tie dye shirt. So that, and then bought it back again. I have the onesie. I have Olivia, like the lightning bolt one. It's so cute. And then I have Meredith. And then I have both Olivia and Meredith. It's so fucking beautiful. I love them all so fucking much. You guys don't even know. So fucking, I don't go, I don't sound like the best, but it's because I'm hot and that's why. Okay, so I'm going to stop this and then we're going to continue. You know what, guys? I just made a conscious decision just to show you like one by one from my closet because it's way too hot to like check everything out and then put it back in. It's way, way, way too hot even with fucking water. So, yeah, I apologize, but, like, that's just what we're gonna do from now on. So then I have all four of my cardigans, actually, in a bin, because it hurts, it's not good to hang them up. So I just have the original one, I have the Red Tires version one, and then I have the gray and gray one, and then I have, like, the tan one, silly right there. But, yeah, they're all my baby daddies. Like, they're all so fucking beautiful. I love them all so much. It's my favorite one right next to the original one, and then probably Red Tires version, and then this one would be last, but I still love this one a lot, too. So, yeah, okay. So we're gonna, like, graze. Kind of. Okay, so I have the um, this one from Rep Era as well, but it's huge. It's literally medium, but it's so fucking huge. I have the Lakes crew neck. Oh, this one's so fucking much. So beautiful. Like, navy blue. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Um, This one I ordered from Canada, but it's still a beautiful, like, it's, I love it. So fucking much. I don't even know. Another empty hanger. Um, Buddy's Garden Trip, like, the gray version. It's so beautiful as well. So the tarot, like, gray version, too. Dark gray. Um, folk song shirt. Yes, so beautiful. Um, Urban Outfitters, Over and Outfitters, Red Tires version shirt. I love this one so much, too. It's so beautiful. Sun Wash Polar Roach. I don't really wear that much anymore, but it's so pretty. Red Pullover. Really don't wear it that much, but I still love it. Christmas Tree Farm Hoodie. Love it. It's so beautiful. It's like the puffer lettering again. Reputation Gray Crop Top. It's so beautiful. What size did I even get? Because I sold my small, and then I bought another one. Um, I got an extra large, but it's like a, it doesn't feel like an extra large. It's like a small, so, Yeah. Invisible string shirt, so beautiful, love it so much. Folk songs, long sleeve. Taylor wore this for an 18 t commercial, so I was like, I gotta have it, because I thought it was really fucking cute, so I bought it. Um, the one shirt, another one of my favorites from Folklore, um, I love this picture of her as well. It says, you know, the greatest loves of all time are over now, it's so beautiful, and then it's like a, like, smoke tie-dye, it's so beautiful. And then I have my Exile pullover or crew neck, it's like embroidered in there. You're not my homeland anymore, so what am I defending now? Yes, yeah, so beautiful. It's embroidered. And then I have the hoodies of all hoodies. I do actually have the Reputation Stadium Tour hoodie. It's so beautiful with the iconic snake design. And then I have I Would Die For You in Secret. Now one of my favorites um, from the Folklore Anniversary. I love, love, love this picture of her. It's one of my favorites from the Folklore photo shoot. Along with the Betty's Garden shirt. And then I have that. It's in the copper, like, Folklore font. But... Wait, it is, is it the folklore front? Um, yeah, it is. Um, I was like, wait, I was doing a double take. I haven't looked at it in a while. And I just have the in the trees, like regular basic, like, um, um, cover one with folklore, um, or um, folklore on the back. It's so beautiful. Love it so much. And then I have the I Would Die For You in Secret shirt as well, because like I said, I love this picture of her so much. Um, yeah, love it, love it, love it. And then I have, I wanted this one for so long and then I don't even wear it, I know, but like, it's true. It's like the rep, it's just this rep all over it. This one is actually huge, it's an extra large. And this is actually fucking huge, but it's so beautiful and I love it so much. Like, and it has like the, um, 
like the zip thingies. Yeah, and then this is from like Lover Black Friday Collection 2019. So I have the Lover album. Um, like hoodie, trackless hoodie, and this. So beautiful. I love it so much. I love this like pink color. Obviously, it goes with Lover's aesthetic. It's so beautiful. And the trackless on the back. Same thing, but in like basically in um, short or shirt format. And then I have the man shirt. I want the oatmeal, like Miss Americana oatmeal crew neck. And then you have the lyrics on the man on the back. Cruel Summer is my favorite song from Lover, along with Cornelia Street, Death by a Thousand Cuts, Afterglow, and The Archer, which we will get into. Yeah, so then I bought two of these actually because it was cracking. So I bought a brand new one of those. If you see two, that's why. Um, and I have a Reputation Tour shirt as well. I've worn this. Um, another Trekless hoodie from Lover. This is probably my favorite one. I love this one. Then I have the other Cruel Summer shirt because I showed you the other one was cracking. This I was looking for the other day because it's more, it's too hot from the Reputation Tour. You guys know. Um, another one of my favorites from the Folklore Anniversary Collection. It's so beautiful. I love this one so much. Again, another one of my favorites. Um, wing, one single thread of gold tied me to you, crew neck. It's so beautiful. It's like embroidered in there. It's so beautiful. Not this one. It's another like smoke tie dye one. Um, from the Lover of Valentine's Day Collection. I love this one as well. Home is where the heart is, crew neck. From London Boy. Obviously, I love this one too. It's so beautiful. Um, I love this one too. Soul Lullabies vinyl. If you guys know, you know. From my Chisel Crochet, obviously. Um, that's that's where the lyric is from. I track this on the back, and then I don't really wear this one a lot, but it's so beautiful, and it's like an iconic piece of merch history from Taylor Swift, or from the Sooty Phantom, yeah. And then I have the other snake embroidery, oh my god, it's like, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm going to take it off the hanger and like give it a rest. This is, I don't even know what this is called, but I own it, and I love it, but it's huge, I don't wear it because it's huge. Another one of these, um, Urban Outfitters one, um, I think this is like a moment of time from August. I believe is what it was called. I know that's what the song is, but I don't know what, I, but I believe it was from like a moment of time pullover from August, obviously. And then I have my Evermore shirt. I actually sold this and then rebought it. It's an extra small and then I bought a medium last time, but I sold that, like I said, so. I have the rebought it and then I have another Ivy, your Ivy Girls crew neck, because obviously Ivy is one of my favorites from Evermore. So yeah, I bought it and yeah, it's so beautiful with Ivy lyrics and it's so beautiful. I love this like color. It's so pretty. My mom and I wore this. It's matching. It's like the puffer, like, is that te not text, but like puffer? Yeah, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's like a navy blue, so pretty. Then I have this one from the Lover Era. I wore this actually during my Archer reaction. If you guys have been here for that long, if you remember that video, this is what the shirt I wore. Um, I have you need to calm down shirt, like the seafoam green mint color. I love this so much. Ferrucci, of course. You got Ferrucci here. What size are you in the Ferrucci? Large, of course. Um, it's so beautiful. I love this one. Then, um, here's where we get to my favorite parts. Um, these are probably all my favorite pieces of merch going down. So, yeah. I've been the Archer, I've been the play. So yes, you guys know how much I love the Archer, which we will get into in a minute. I'm going to show you my Archer necklaces and stuff. Yes, I have two out of three. So yes. Um, yes, I do have this. I'm very, very proud to own this. I don't see these being sold a lot on resale. And yeah, this one I got first. And then that blue shirt, it took me forever, ever, forever to find. I've seen maybe 10 of these, maybe less than that being sold on resale sites. So I'm very, very, very fortunate and lucky to own this. It's so beautiful. You guys know the Archer means so much to me. Along with Mirrorball, nothing new. Death by a Thousand Cuts, right where you left me. The one piece epiphany. <laughs> like, I love those all mats pieces so much. And Afterglow and Daylight. I can go on and on. Um, you guys know this. And then I have this one. The last time I wore this, I was drunk, I believe. So, yeah. Uh, for my bestie's birthday. So, yeah. And then I have this. Um, and again, this is another Archer shirt, if you couldn't tell. It is. And then it has a name on the back. So, beautiful. Um, and this is from the Stella McCartney line. I, really, I don't really wear these, but like Taylor was when Lover got released. So, I kind of wanted it too. And then it has Lover truckles on the back, obviously. Another one, and I love her chocolates on the back. Another one of my favorites. Um, it's very, very iconic piece of merch in the Sissy Phantom. Yes, it's so beautiful. Although I had this and they were sold, and I think this is from the restock because I remember my, I don't remember my pocket being this big on mine, but I know mine wasn't from the restock. Um, but yeah, I still own it either way, regardless. Um, then I have the In the Trees forest green pullover or hoodie. Hoodie. I um, love this one as well. It's so beautiful. Here's like my greens, if you couldn't tell. And then I have the In Exile long sleeve. I don't really see these being sold or even worn a lot. So I don't think a lot of people own this, but I do and I love it. The, you heard the Remus from Inez crew neck. It's embroidered, the Betty crew neck, obviously. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. And yeah, so beautiful. Another one of my favorites, olive green rope crop top. I love this one so fucking much. It's so beautiful. It's one of my favorites, but way too hot to be wearing now. Don't think I've ever worn this once, but I still own it. It's the iconic. Army Green Snake Jacket from the Reputation Tour. Love it, love it, love it. Ever and ever more from Long Story Short. Obviously, another Christmas tree from Green Pullover, which I love the original one, the white one way better. I have a piece from Earth and Outfitters hoodie. It's so beautiful. I love this one so much. It's so simple. And it says 
bulk or all of them on one of the sleeves, but I can't remember which one it's on. Is it on this one? It's on the other one, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, but it's so beautiful. Oh no, it says her Swift. Whoops, that said folklore album. I guess not. And then I have the Evermore. I think it's the bandit like me. Oh my god, it looks like a deep red, but it's really like a brownish. I don't even know what color you can do. Like a brown. Another one of my favorites, hands down. I have the August up the way into a moment in time. One of my favorite lyrics from August, go figure. And then it has one of my favorite pictures for her. And then folklore album, the truckles on the back. I don't know what color you consider this either. That's what I love about Tara's merch. Like, you never know what you're going to get. You're going to get, like, such unique colors you don't even know the name of. This is the Rod Tara's version collection. Obviously, I love this picture of her. And I love this, like, almost, like, coffee cream color. It's so beautiful. And then I have, like, my mustard yellow. So, the tarot pullover. I love this one, too, a lot. You guys know me or well means so much to me. You don't even know. So, yes, I have this one. I have Death by a Thousand Cuts Pockety because that's by the, a Thousand Cuts. It's one of my favorites from Lover, as you guys know, but it's dirty in, inside, so I don't really wear it that much. Plus, I don't really want it to fade, so yeah, I love it so much. like this coral color. It's one of my favorite colors. And then I do actually have the Endgame Peach Crop Top. Um, yes, I wish I would have gotten a bigger size, but whatever, I did not. It's like a bird in there. Taylor with us in Rep Room, and everyone's like, I need it, I need it, and I have one of the people that own it, and I'm very, very fortunate. Then, never seen the Lovers Pair is it from Gold Rush. Oh, Gold Rush means a lot to me too. And then a picture of her from the Evermore photo shoot on the back. And then we're going to go into my Cruel Summer Heart. So I believe everything f f is here. I don't know. So I just have this simple, like, one. And then this one I was looking for forever. Um, and I still can move out on this because I don't think I've actually seen one of these. Like, I've seen a couple, maybe like two or three. On resale sites, but, like, I'm so happy I found one, and I love it so much. What size did I even get? I, remember, I got a small. Yeah, guys, I got a small, but it's so beautiful. I love it so much. And it's organic cotton, so, like, what more could I ask for? I'm um, going to have Summer's a Knife pullover from the Cellar Club as well. Um, another one of my favorites. And I got a large in this one, apparently. So, yeah, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's like the Pegasus. And then I have another Cruel Summer crew neck, obviously. Just off the fucking hanger. I have to hang that up. Um, but not by the tape. So yeah, um, I love you, ain't the worst thing you ever heard. It's like the puffer text again. I love it so much. It's not like printed on there. I love it. And then I believe that concludes all the important stuff. Yeah. Okay. So now I think I've showed everything you guys for once. Oh no, I did not. I did not show my jewelry. Okay. So for jewelry, letting you guys know. Oh wait, mugs. Okay. So I do actually have the Archer mug. It's so beautiful. Um, in all of its glory. It's so fucking beautiful. I love it so much. You guys know the Archer means so much to me. And yeah, and then I have another Red Hairs version mug from the Capital One, like, thingy. Okay, so then I have two of my rings. I had the silver snake ring, but I sold it, and I had the purple snake ring, but I broke it. I really, 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 really want the black snake ring, though. But, where the fuck is it, and why is it not in here? Okay, oh, wait, is it on the bed? Hold on, guys. Yeah, they are on the bed. So I do, I oh, wear these pretty much in every video. What the fuck is that? I don't know, whatever. Fucking A. Okay. Um, so I have my green snake ring. I've, I thought about selling this, but I can't believe I did. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. You guys don't even know it's so beautiful. It's like, look at that shine. Like, oh my god. And then, we have my, um, red ring. My wedding ring. <laughs> okay. So yeah, and then we're going to go into necklaces and, like, other jewelry. Okay. So, my Hermes box is falling on the fucking damn floor. In the garbage. Okay. <laughs> So here are my boxes. Um, one of them did not come in an official box. I came in with like a regular one, but I know it's authentic. But I do have the rose gold wax seal necklace, actually. The official one. Hold on if it's going to focus. It is the official one. It's so beautiful. I love it so fucking much. I wore the silver one way more, obviously, because I'm a silver bitch way more. But like it's still so fucking beautiful regardless. Yeah, you guys can see it. It's so pretty. Like look at it. It's so beautiful. And her hand is on the back. So beautiful. Love it so much. Um, who just liked my damn fucking picture on Instagram? Um, okay. So. Now, the rest of them I do actually have boxes for, and they are the official boxes. So, yeah. So, I do have the silver wax stone necklace. I wore this pretty much in every video, but I love it so much. It's so beautiful. And the quality for Reputation merch was immaculate. Like, we all know this. It was so fucking good. I miss it. Um, and then, I can, I still can believe I own two of these. And I own two of the rose gold wax and alcohol, or rose, or two of that wax and alcohol says too. But, like, this one, I'm, like, in utter, utter shock. And I do own two of the archer necklaces. And 
I have silver one, which I wear in pretty much every video. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. You guys know the Archer means so fucking much to me. I wish you made like a mirror ball necklace. Really do. Or like a girl setting for what were you like me? And I do actually have, believe it or not, I do actually have a gold Archer necklace. I know ironic, but I do. Um, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of gold. And then I have the tiny to me bracelet. I don't really wear this as much as I used to anymore. Um, but I still own it and it's still a beautiful piece to have. So yeah, it's like antique looking. It's like vintage in my opinion. So, so beautiful. I love it so much. Okay guys. Wow. I think that actually does conclude all of my Taylor merch for now. I did order more. Go figure. Yes, I did. Or the 99 blanket. Speak now blanket because I do collect the blankets. Oh yeah, I didn't even show you. Speaking of blankets, I didn't show you the rest of them. So I actually do have every blanket that I want except the Miss Americana one. Yes. So, um, I have the W blanket. I have the Fearless Stolen Version. Um, Speak Now Stolen Version. Red, Taylor's Version. 1999 Stolen Version. And then I have my at t blanket. King of My Heart from Lover. Or Lover. Um, Reputation. Lover. Lover. Stolen the Tarot from Folklore. And then I have my, um, other soft fleece blanket from Folklore. And then I have two. Oh, and I have, I have all the blankets that have, like, came out recently. Yeah. I have the red Taylor's version one like the one where she's anywhere ever getting about Taylor I have that in my bin and then I have yeah oh and I have my two scrunchies my two Taylor scrunchies right here obviously I do have these right here they're so beautiful I love them so much and then I have my um bright stolen version blanket I've replaced it with the Taylor's version so yeah guys that concludes it I believe um obviously I have all the CDs too like like album CDs you know what I'm saying but I don't think I've ever shown these. Okay, hold on. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever shown this in a video before. I do actually have, like, the 10th anniversary of Taylor Swift, of, like, her debut album, obviously. And I still can believe I own this, but I do. Um, and there was only 1,313 copies made. Or no, 1,313. Wait, 1,313. Yeah, I think that's the right number. I don't fucking know. And I have 634. 634. I, I cut the hype sticker off. But like whatever it is, what it is. And then, yeah. So yeah, and then I do have two King of My Heart blankets. One for display. Well, they're actually both on display right now. But if I want to use one, it'll be that one that I use. And then I have my Olivia and I have my Meredith <laughs> cat pose as well. So guys, yeah, that does conclude this video. I don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah, actually I am. I have more like posters, but... I think you guys can get it. You guys get it. I do have them. Once I finish my room tour, you guys will see them eventually. Okay, guys, that's it. I love you so much. And comment, like, don't forget to my social media. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, y'all, so the fan is on, so we're just going to ignore that. But I did forget some stuff. So I do have a jacket that Taylor wore on the set of the Cats movie. And then I have these. She wore these in rep room. The camo shorts are so fucking cute. I love them so much. Love them. Love them. Love them. You guys can see. I obviously have, like, this is what I feel like I'd put on my coffee table if I had one. But obviously, I don't. This is what I would put on my Roku remote. Um, yeah, this is what I would put on there for sure. And then over here, you do have more stuff. So I know it's going to be hard to see, but just bear with me. So Taylor wore these for the folklore photo shoot. And on this blanket, I will show you. She did wear them right here. And then I have the same exact pair right here. I love them. I feel like they're working pants, but like I wore them to work or something, but we all know. It. Yeah. Okay. Then I have my embroidered Taylor, the Valentine's Day collection, embroidered Taylor Swift sweatpants. They're so beautiful. I love them so much. And then I have my Irvin Outfitters um, ones too. I have the gray ones, or not the gray, but like that chocolate brown color too. That's her name in like maroon lettering, or like a dark maroon lettering, I guess, if you want to call it. And then Taylor also wore these. Then I have the Reputation sweatpants by Ferrucci, um, <laughs> of course. And then these are from the Reputation era, obviously. Obviously have these as well. She wore these, the Hudson jeans, or these skinny jeans are so cute, love them. And then here's the other pair. And then Taylor also wore these, go figure, during the Reputation era as well. And then these are from the Irvin Outfitters like line. So yeah, guys, I think that does conclude it though. For now, I just took my hair out of a pony. Um, but yeah, like, I think that is literally it, you guys. Like, I bought majority of the stuff, so I don't think it was, like, all handed me on a silver fucking platter because it fucking wasn't, bitch. I bought majority of it by my own damn self. Um, and I'm very proud of my collection, of my ever-growing collection. Um, and yeah, guys, so I think that is it. If I forget anything, I will, like, add on, obviously. 
Um, but I am very, very proud of my collection. Like, you don't even know. Especially my Hermes collection. I'm, like, slowly building on it, slowly but surely. Um, although, look at the boxes. Like, the difference in boxes is, it's like, not atrocious, but, like, it's comical. So you have the Christmas Tree Farm Snow Glow box, right? Like, iconic, right? Beautiful, one of a kind. And you have the August Hourglass box. It's, like, so beautiful. Either way, I love it. Like, I love it. But, like, it's so simple and, like, like a light gray. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, guys. So I think that is it. Um, and I have the getaway car poem. Like, these are, like, stickers and, like, miscellaneous stuff. But I do have the getaway car poem. It's so beautiful and I love it so much. Yeah, you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, guys. And I have a New Year's Day mug, which is so beautiful as well. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, I think that is it for real, for real. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Subscribe, so please, by the way. Actually, I'll show you my other lithographs, too. Because now that I'll, like, cool down a bit, I can show you the other lithographs. So. Oh, maybe not. Maybe fucking not. Oh, no, there goes the fucking vinyls. We are not doing that. Okay. I'm going to point you guys towards my vinyls. Speaking of. Okay. And then I have some Taylor, like, from Reputation Air newspaper. paper. Okay. So, I believe these are all of them, which, that you haven't seen, from my knowledge. Black paint stuff. Okay. So, I do have two more lithographs that, like, I don't think you've seen. I don't know, you might have, but I also really don't know, because I don't remember. So, I do have this one. This one was actually given to me for free. Um, the girl literally lived so close to me, she could have drove it to me, she said. But I was gonna buy it, but... I, like, didn't have the funds for it at the time, but, um, yeah. So, that one was secondly like, free. She's like, I need to get rid of it. I just sent it to you. So, she did. And then... <laughs> and then, we have the Spinning My Highest Heels Love Lithograph. Obviously, from Mirable. I love those. It's so beautiful. And, yeah. So, I have those as well. So beautiful, I love them all so much. They're my baby daddies, they literally don't even know. Um, I love them so much. Okay, that's it guys, love you. <laughs> Bye guys. A thumbnail. Thumbnail. Okay. Bye, guys. Also, guys, I do have two pairs of Reputation sunglasses as well. Obviously, this is a silver pair. And then this is the gold pair, obviously. So, they obviously match my arch necklace. And, yeah, like, and one of my wax necklaces, obviously. So, I do have these as well. They are iconic, beautiful, love them. And then, I have these shorts that Taylor wore in the Lover era, which I can't remember if I showed them or not. But, yes, here they are. So, I'm filming on my iPad. Um... <laughs> Like a mini six. But then we also have the We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together blanket. It's very, very iconic, very soft, like very good quality. Um, I love it so much. It's actually might sit with that tonight. And then we have the stolen version album artwork, original red, stolen version. Um, it's so beautiful either way. And it goes with obviously the whole aesthetic of my blankets. And then obviously over there it goes as well. So yeah, guys, that's it. Love you guys. And then in here, in my little like thingy, I have the once in 20 lifetimes fanny pack. It's so beautiful. I know. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. I love it very, very much. So, yeah. And then down here, we have another one of my favorites. It's the Reputation duffel bag. I've never used it, so I'm too afraid to, but it's kind of on the smaller end. And then I have Reputation newspaper, and then my Evermore phone case, obviously, which fell under my bed, but it's so beautiful, and I love it either way. So, yeah, guys, that's it. I love you guys. Mwah.